Hello, Y Jammers. This is a little tutorial for Via Dolorosa in the key of G. Um, I'm going to run through all the chord changes, but because the version that we're going to do is going to be pretty much exactly like Leland, I'm not going to worry too much on the chord chart or even this video about describing do the verse and then the chorus and then there's this transition and this goes like this. So I'm going to make sure we go through the chords so that you know that the chords are right. Um, but it's going to be up to you to get the arrangement right, including the dynamics, how long to pause between this verse and that chorus, when to switch to the bridge. All those things are going to be under your control. And they're not even on the chord chart. So if you need to make notes, then make notes because I want you to be ready uh, when you try out. So we're doing it in G. It's really high to sing. I'm going to get us through it, but it's going to be kind of ugly. Jared just has a higher voice than me, and he can hit these notes. So there's an intro, but I'm not worried about that. You'll have to work it out. It's kind of a synth thing. So G, he created his crown for a crown of thorns. C over G, D. He picked up his cross and laid down his sword. He stumbled down the road, bruised and beat him for me. Jesus walked the way of grief. Hallelujah! So that's the verse. Uh, we'll ignore the second verse, it's the same. The chorus is on the Via Dolorosa. So, G, all my sin was D minor carried away. C, it's all on the chart. And the power G of sin, D minor, C, was broken. G. As he gave D minor his life, C, O, A, G. Pretty straightforward. The chord chart is very easy to read. So getting the timing, the dynamics, when to play what. Is this a guitar part? Is this a keyboard part? Since we're taking Leland's arrangement, just do what they do. Try to hear those parts. If you're not sure, try to see what you think is going to fit. Because when you try out, I want to see what your ideas are. That's that's my goal. So then, then verse two, um, and then it switches for the bridge, which is G over B. Jesus fixed his eyes, C, D, upon the new horizon, E minor, G over B. Too soon he would arise, and the world would be forgiven. The whole thing again. Jesus fixed his eyes. On the new horizon, soon he would arise, and the world would be forgiven. Right, he goes up, and then continuing with the bridge, G. Hallelujah, Jesus rose again. At the cross, he shed his blood on Calvary. It goes on from there. So here's the thing. Don't judge me on my timing and what I have is the right chords and it's up to you to really get that arrangement. As I played through, I could tell that I kind of jeffed it a little bit and I didn't do it the same. Don't do it exactly the way I do it. Use the chords and do it the Leland way. That's what we're doing. The other song, the Easter song, we kind of did our own thing, right? We get that. But this one, I'm counting on you to do it like Leland. So. Get the arrangement yourself, make some notes to yourself, but really practice what you think are the right parts. If you're playing keyboard on Via Dolorosa, or if that's what you want to do, really listen to some of those cool string lines. They do kind of this big, maybe an octave, boom ba boom boom ba boom They're doing some interesting stuff that's pretty easy to hear. I want you to try to get that. If you want to play the acoustic piano part, for Via Dolorosa, it's a little easier to hear, but listen to when it comes in and when it goes out. If it's out, I want you out. If it's in, I want you strong and solid. So know exactly what you plan to do. If you plan to play keyboards and you want to be versatile enough to do the piano intro and then maybe a pad or, or the strings and go back and forth, I actually want you to be ready to do both and I'll help you with the buttons or Laura can help you with the buttons to make sure that you can actually switch. But I want to know that you've got the parts ready and in time, all right? So very doable, but a little bit of work. So practice with the video, 
listen to Leland, which is in the wrong key, and then go back to this video, or listen to Leland and go back to the chord chart, and uh, do your best to, to get ready for Tuesday, all right?